Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to migrate Windows to a new hard drive or how to clone Windows to a new hard drive, not to be confused with migrating to an SSD drive. Now I have already installed my C drive onto my computer. If I right click Computer, Manage, Disk Management, here you'll notice my 1.4 terabyte C drive and my newly installed 232 gigs hard drive. Now I did this on purpose because it doesn't matter the size of the hard drive what matters is the space used on your C drive. Once I'm finished cloning disk 0 to disk 1 I'll remove disk 0 which is the 1.4 tera and boot out of the disk 1. Now if I right click properties on my C drive You'll notice here I have 52 gigs used space on my C drive out of 1.4 tera. So the disk 1 is good enough for this uh, tutorial. Now for this tutorial I'm using Paragon Hard Disk Manager 12. The link is in the description box below. Here go to copying and migration. Hard disk migration next to the wizard. Now it automatically detected all my available drives. Now choose a drive that you would like to copy. In this case it's C drive. I'm going to copy to my disk 1 here. So just make sure it's selected. I don't know if you can see that orange band once you click on the, uh, on the drive. And click on next. Now if you have multiple drives make sure to select the drive where you would like to copy. In this case I only have one if you notice the orange band already selected on my source destination disk. Now here leave it default and click on next or if it's not automatically selected make sure to select to remove free blocks between partitions and copy data and resize partition proportionally and click on next. In the review changes here you'll notice the original disk and the disk one or the destination disk they look exactly the same. Notice the uh, system reserved once we're done cloning and the C drive. Remember what matters is just a space used. The rest there's no need for to copy unused space. Now you can partition the destination drive manually but I'm gonna leave it default and click on next. Here, yes, apply the changes physically. Next. And this can take rather long time depending on how much information you have to clone. Once you're done, finish the wizard. I fast forwarded the process, by the way. Okay. Now, if we go to disk management here, you'll notice my disk 1 partition exactly the same as my disk 0. Now I'll remove disk 0 and boot from my disk 1. Since I'm not using a virtual machine I can't show you the restarting process. I'll be back. Okay I just finished restarting and removing the uh, drive 0. Now if I go to disk management here you'll notice that my disk 0 is what used to be my disk 1 and the 1.4 tera disk 0 is removed. Here it is. Now if you don't see the mouse moving it's because a glitch in the recording software I'm using. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below.